Done on the final day, dude. <laughs> oh, God, you're going to put me out back here, really? I was right there by the entrance. Basically delaying Pinnacle Rock even further. It's like, this place, this place cannot catch a break. <laughs> All right. Oh, that gold dust. Yeah, I'm going to have to <laughs> do that on a different cycle. Maybe you can't, maybe you can't do this without the seahorse. Like maybe they have some kind of limitation in place where if you, if you don't have the seahorse guiding you, um, it just, it just won't work because you got these signs here that literally tell you the way. So it's like, what's the point of the seahorse? Well, maybe they thought of that. Maybe I should try that. And you know, it's not like it's not like the hot it's not blue really it's not like the hot and wasteland, you know, where you have the flags that only lead you for so long and they stop halfway through. No, the signs go all the way. Oh man, you know what I just noticed? That I don't have enough bottles for these anyway. Well, I would if I didn't have the gold dust, right? But apparently I can't, like, pour out the gold dust and just, you know. So I'm going to leave these eggs alone, actually. What I am going to do is fly into, or fly. What I am going to do is swim into each of these and make sure there ain't no chests there, right? Because uh, I guess the draw, I guess you have to take into account the draw distance or something like that. Because I, I, I can't remember, <clears throat> I can't remember if there are two or three chests in this place. You know, not counting the, the reward for defeating all the snakes, right? from the seahorses. So, yeah, I can't remember. And that map would really help too, but I don't have that. Yet again, I don't have that Great Bay map. <laughs> you know, um, I don't know why I started thinking about this all of a sudden, but I, I guess, uh, again, that's how my, how my mind works. I discussed in Mario Kart where I think about random things and suddenly I think, uh, I'm thinking about another thing, like completely different. I don't know, but, um, Mm, another heart piece. But I actually had this dream the other day, or the other night, I guess I'd say. Actually, it was um, when I took a nap during the day, I had this dream. Where, I don't know, like, I don't even know what happened. Like, I got posted up. I, I suppose I should get some... Um, Get some magic, probably. And these pots ain't gonna give me none. So, in this dream, basically someone paid for me to stay in like a hotel room. And someone paid for me to stay like in a hotel room or something. And it was like $200 or something. I don't know why. <laughs> they did, but... <clears throat> 
But yeah, I was staying in like a $200 hotel room all by myself. But the dream wasn't even about the, like the, like the room itself. It was like nothing happened in the room itself. Oh, hey, there's another treasure chest. But uh, by staying in the room, I, I inadvertently started this whole like Twitter war or something. <laughs> Or like this Twitter discourse, if you want to call it that. Where everyone, where apparently everyone was mad at me because they were like, oh, why is this guy staying? Why is this like some random guy staying, get to stay in this room for $200 when I'm out here struggling? I don't know, when I'm out here struggling. Is like, why are you all mad at me? Because someone paid for me to stay in a room. Ah, uh, let me see here. Yeah, so that, I don't know. Well, it leads to something, but anyway. I'm, I'm just going to do a quick one, it's over. And make sure I didn't miss any chests, because I'm paranoid. But yeah, but yeah and this dream is like, why are y'all mad at me? I'm just staying... I don't know, I'm just staying in a room for, like, five days or something. It was weird. It was random. Is I, I, I wish I could remember, like, more of the details about it. But there you go. You know, it's not often that I, I remember dreams like that. You know, especially good dreams. Or, well, I, I don't know if that was a really a good dream. Because everyone was mad at me or something. For some, for no discernible reason. But yeah, it's not often. It's like, it seems like my mind only wants to remember the bad stuff, you know. The bad dreams. where they're like re recurring and all that. But anyway, I'm wasting time. I should like cut this out. Uh, it's already eight in the morning. But then again, I guess how I think um, I've realized that that's how my memory works in general. Is like to be honest, um, <clears throat> to be honest, like my mind, to be honest, okay, like I was a like not to get to into too much detail here, but I was a little shitty kid, like growing up, like especially when I was like what six to ten, eleven years old or something like that. I did some pretty stupid stuff. Like, nothing, like, catastrophic or anything, but... I, and I wasn't a bully or nothing like that. No, I wasn't... I wasn't, like, the school bully. Thankfully. If anything, uh... If anything, I would probably be the kind of kid to, to get bullied. But that never happened to me either. And I'm glad it didn't. But anyway, what was I even talking about? But yeah, um, it seems in my mind... <clears throat> it seems that, like, uh, whenever I want to remember childhood memories or something like that. Like, stuff that happened when I was, like, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 years old. It seems like my mind always wants to remember the shitty stuff, you know? Like, all the shitty things I did. And, you know, um, I think, um, I feel like the only reason I didn't get into more trouble, um, you know, than I did back then. Um, oh, hello, would you stop walking, please? Walking in place. I think the only reason I didn't get, blah, blah, only reason I didn't get into more trouble than I did was because, um, 
you know, people thought I was special or something. And, well, not really. Like, I was, uh, I, w- I was diagnosed with mild autism when I was four. But I wasn't really... Like, I wouldn't really consider myself a special needs person. I don't know. Okay, is the are the platforms? Man, so, so when did I suddenly start talking about this? But oh yeah, at least times I times not going to start until I pop out of the flower. So yeah, maybe maybe I was wrong earlier. Maybe um. I guess I was misremember- misremembering the platforms on the second day because these are definitely the third day uh, the third day patterns here where it's both of them you know it's both directions well <laughs> never mind but yeah I think that's the only reason I didn't get to you know didn't get into more shit <laughs> when I was a kid because people thought I was spe- quote unquote special like that. I don't know. I'm not really too. And I don't really like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Shit. Damn. At least I can play one more time, thanks to the rupees I got during the game, which do count, like, towards your... Like, you get to you get to keep the rupees that you get during the minigame, so that's... that's nice. Huh. But I think what it is, is, like... I think, really, all my, uh... You know, all my, um, <laughs> I would, how, how am I trying to say this? All my autism caused me to do, or something, anxiety or stuff like that, is to not really, like, converse with people not all that much back in. How the hell, I still don't converse with people all that much. It's kind of an introvert. Another woodfall fairy. Another woodfall fairy. Okay, whatever. But yeah, I mean, especially, uh, especially back in school, I wasn't really much of a talker, much at all. Or when I did, I talked in like, I don't know, totally inappropriate situations. Like, I don't know. Yeah, so there's... uh, Snowhead. There was something else that I said I wanted to do, but I, I think that's all. You know, before I go back to the uh, swamp, the, the swamp spider house. Before I clean that out, you know, because I went to Iconic Canyon. I, I saved the guard, the invisible guard, hero. I went to Pinnacle Rock, like I said, I was. I still can't clean out Ocean Spider House because of that captain's hat, you know. Hey, hey, now that we now that we got that picto box, you know what I can do right now? Oh, Tingle! I want to take a picture of you. <laughs> Remember that one part where I made him sound like Peter Griffin? Come on, let me get a good shot of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too bad you don't have, uh, you don't have color pictographs in this game. Again, like Wind Waker.
went away. I'm very sorry for... A what? Did I just... No, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep it. No, you gotta talk to him first, you silly. A spoiled child. I'm sorry to... That's my son. Is he... Is he still doing that sort of thing? I guess I spoiled him too much when I was raising him. But he... He really is a kind-hearted boy. Oh, I think he... <gasps> Jeez. I wasn't expecting that. I was about to say, well, I think he's, I think he's cool in this game. Yeah, could you please ask him not to go outside, not go outside in that outfit anymore? I think Tinkle's, I think Tinkle's pretty cool in this game. He's not really cool in Wind Waker, but. Because <laughs> he, he literally has slaves in Wind Waker. So, oh. <laughs> that was a uh, pretty, uh, that was some surprise right there. I almost choked on my air that, how do you choke on air anyway? Uh, also in Wind Waker, um, also in Wind Waker, in, in the GameCube version at least, he charge, he charges you like three hundred. How much? How much is it? Three thousand rupees. You know the Triforce charts. You gotta pay up a total of three thousand one hundred three three thousand one hundred rupees to beat the game, so that's a real That's something right there. <laughs> but in this game he's still pretty cool. Ow Stupid dog, you bitch. Literally, unless you're a male dog. That was a, you got no class, you bitch. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. First of about uh, four in this place, I think. Hmm. Also, that's my ninth heart right there. Stacking them up. Another one. Mm hmm. Ain't nothing there. Okay. Actually, I don't hear no more in this room. Let me see if I can try to hear anymore. Yeah, I don't hear no more in this room either. Maybe that is all of them. Well, I'll grab some more bugs just in case, but... There is one more in here. I think it's up there. There's a bug hole up there. I think that's it right there. I did check behind here, right? Yeah, yeah. I would listen. I would like to listen out for it. Um, any more in that room, but that freaking Deku scrub is snoring that snores his ass off. I thought I snored loud. 
Actually, I think I do, but I can't tell that because I'm asleep. Yeah, no more in this room. And I think there's one more in this room. I can hear it. Y'all can't, <laughs> you guys can't, but I can. It's gotta be right here. <laughs> yeah, he stopped crawling around. Cause he knows, oh no, he's out here. And I'm gonna have to come out, oh no, don't kill me, oh! <laughs> oh, Wink, how could you do this? Alright. Once again, I'm doing a once over here. Once more to make sure you know. I don't hear any more in this room. And I don't hear no more in this room. Uh, that right there is just more rupees, so you know I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother with that. And ain't no more in this room, okay? So yeah, that's the swamp spider house for y'all. Freaking Goron Bulbai. Yeah. Well, that was very fun. Sorry for that cut there, by the way. If you can tell. Well, I guess you can tell now because I, cause I told you. Because you just told me, Fox Boy. So, how do you know it was a fake emerald? Tails, because you just told me, fox boy. It's like, how could they? Oh. How did that even work? It's like Eggman just predicted. It's like, damn. Darn. And Sonic Adventure 2 is fucking hard, bro. I do want to play more of that game, but I'm stuck on Eternal Engine. Like, I started with the hero side. I started out on the hero side story. And I died... Tails, man. Freaking Tails. I died like... I died like 20 times on Hidden Base. It's like, oh my god, Hidden Base. It's like, yeah, I got lost on... Yeah, I did get lost on the treasure hunting uh, stages with Knuckles. More than I would care to admit. But Tails, oh my god, hidden base. And now I'm stuck on Eternal Engine. I got like two game overs on Eternal Engine. Freaking Eternal Engine. I don't know how I'm gonna... Man, I do want to play more of that game. Fuck. And by the way, yes, I do, um... I guess just, uh... I guess just because I wanted to say this, but... <clears throat> I do have, a, I do have an actual GameCube now that I purchased a few months ago. I know I mentioned it in another video, but... Eh... Another Woodfall Fairy! Good God! I only have three more of them left. I only have three more Woodfall Fairies left. Then again, we are getting pretty far into this seed. Like, farther than I thought. So... 
Hmm. All right, there's a chest right here, which you're probably gonna miss. 15 swamp school, swamp uh, tokens. That's 15 of each for them. I only have three snowhead fairies. Man, you know, Woodfall Fairy, Woodfall is the one, uh, um, is the one temple I didn't get all the fairies for, right? And now at this rate, it's going to be the one of the first things, the first things, one of the first things I complete. You know, just shoot the, oh, it still takes two. Oh yeah. Shooting gallery skills coming in clutch. I suppose. I do suppose. Ah. <sighs> Man, trying to defeat those other things like without any kind of long range. Uh, options is a nightmare. Alright, I'm gonna activate you. There's a- oh, well you ain't gonna get it like that, what the hell? Here goes another chest right here. Which has a what- oh, what the hell? I already found the woodfall key though, didn't it? Did I not? There is only one woodfall key, or did I? Did I not find oh that's weird. Okay. Well at least I won't have to worry about, you know writing that down or something. What the hell? Oh no! You just had to. Uh uh. He's f no way. All right, as I was saying, where did that nigga even come from? Oh my god. Must have followed me all the way around the area. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Shot him all the way from here. Even with them disappearing from the draw distance the draw distance and all. This game does have pretty good uh like um uh, the Zelda the three D Zelda games do have uh, pretty good draw distance actually. <laughs> you know, unlike Mario you know, I, I know people bring up Mario sixty four and all that, but uh, this game does have pretty good. All right then. So, what does that leave me then? I guess all that's all the stuff in Woodfall. I can get for now, except for the temple itself, or whatever whatever temple that leads to. Like, cause, uh, and then. The, also, there's the there's the witch uh, shooting mini game, which I can't do that till I beat the temple. So, man, do I wish I had that song of soaring. I did hit that uh, owl statue, right? I guess I can look real quick, even though this is hardly a good view to you know what. Never mind. We're up to an hour and 45 minutes, by the way, so I might want to think about, you know.
or if I if I am going to record more, just stop the video and start start up another one. Ugh. Is what oh, what am I gonna, what am I going to do now though? It's almost the night of the final day. Oh, hey, where's that, um, where's that letter to Mama? Because we can do the other part of that now. During this. Uh, also, we can go see what the curiosity shop has for 500 rupees. Not that I can get it. You know what else? You know what else I just thought about? Uh, I forgot to go. <laughs> I forgot to go back to the doggy racetrack and get the get the chest in there. I can do that now. Also, I have the Mask of Truth, so I can totally uh, do the race itself. The dog race itself. But I think what I'm going to do now is just go around as Azura and play the Bossa Nova for these four Gossip Stones. And I don't know if I'm going to show this because uh, I'm probably not. Oh, wow. Nice. A nice booty shot there. Look at that. Good Zora man ass. Wait, I forgot how to play it. There we go. <laughs> Dude, I should totally make that a thumbnail or something for whatever video this is gonna be. That aquatic, that aquatic rock horror. <laughs> what am I? That aquatic rock horror. Rock hard Zora ass. And number one on, and we have number one on Bender's most used words, most frequently used words, ask. She's <laughs> like, that's so rare. She's like, okay, um, not that I know much about Futurama, I never really watched it. Um, besides like, besides like a few episodes here and there, but that's like one part I always remember about it. It's like they were, they were all worried about them finishing. I don't even know what was going on there. Bender's most fruit, most uh, frequently used words, ass. <laughs> Futurama is pretty, um, from what, I, from what I have seen, Futurama is pretty funny, though. The, oh my god, I swear I'm not doing that, dude. <laughs> it's the second time in a row. Is it just going to do that, like, every time? I, uh, step right up, I'm, like, right up against the stone like that. And facing it. I bet y'all have never seen them. Them turn blue. Like that. Because you know you get the Zora mask. Rather late to be honest. The Zora mask and the Bossa Nova for that matter. All right, here we go into the stomach cave, as I, as I called it. Now let me see here. <laughs> yep, um, um, that's an angle right there. I cannot believe that. That's like, like you could pretty much see everything right there. You could pretty much see everything. That's horrible. <laughs> I said I was going to cut this shit out, but Macau's ass, or should I say Zora Link's ass, had other plans for that. So I guess I'm not cutting this out.
Oh, hey, I, I just thought of something else. Since I got the adult wallet, right? I can totally buy what the business scrub in there has. Did I already do that? I don't think I did. Oh, whoops, in the, on the other side. Don't tell me it's in the fence. Oh, no, it's right here. All right. <laughs> It's not as funny anymore, but it's still pretty. It's just like, what? Yeah. So all four of them with the same color? Oh. Oh. You know what, since I do have them 100 rupees. Hmm. Let me go check the bomb shop real quick because since I saved the old lady, um, is it gonna have something different? Oh hell, you know what else? I never went back to, um, I never went to Snowhead and turned into that swamp title deed. I should do that real quick. Also, I'm bringing up my notes so I can remember. I think it's 31425. Yeah, it is. This is going to take rather a long while. Be a night, final day here. Cutting kind of close. All right, Mr. Astronomer. Mr. Astronomer Duty. Um. Oh, what did he say? I think he said something different there. Anyway, let's make this quick. Yeah, is you still going to be here? I'm like, oh my god, look how bad it is out here. So, since I got these 100 rupees, I can totally buy what that guy has. <laughs> yeah, look at that moon, bro. Did you discover ever? Did you that? Did you dis? Oh my God! I cannot. He said, "Did you discover anything interesting?" Oh yeah, I sure did. Yeah, the world, we all but die. Unless I do something here. So let me get a get back out to Termina Field. Termina Field. Also, I just realized I could have, um, instead of, you know, opening up my notes on my phone and all that, I could have totally, I could have totally just looked at my bomber's notebook, <laughs> you know, to see what the code was, but oh well, that would have saved a few seconds, I think, a few seconds of video time too. So where is this? Who's down here? What are you doing here? I saw your red potion. Oh, really? No good. I don't need that for nothing else. Like I've already done. Well, fine. All right, fine then. So yeah, there's there's a red potion right there that I don't need no more. All right, so I still have 139 rupees. So you know you know what I'm gonna do with them is that you know I got a plan here. I got a plan since I, since I can carry 200 rupees. I'm going to grind, grind off more of these Enos. And they're going to use, you know, their special moves on them. Like, um, what was that one move called? Antidepressant love or something that she has. Or, I don't know. I haven't played Guilty Gear in a long time, to be honest. Like, even before Strive came out. I mean, should we? Yeah, the, I... 
I know there's a, a few things I can do here. Like, should this... Should I even do this right now? Should this wait until the next cycle? You know what? Let me actually refresh my memory on this. Right? It's right, left, right, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's do this. Oh my god, remember remember that one time in the last scene where I had so much trouble getting across these ice flows here? Is I, I didn't even think to um, use the Deku mask to skip along the water like that. I must have spent like five minutes on the ice flows. Just wasting time. Oh yeah! All right then, Darmani, you ready? <laughs> there you go. And what is he going to drop? Just a swamp school. Okay, so nothing really there except one thirtieth or one thirtieth of a reward. Oh my god. Oh my god, that, that was burp right there. <clears throat> Not really. Uh, sorry, Giovanni, that just. Never mind. All right, so yeah, there's a song of healing on Darmani. What? It, this goes to Snowhead, right? A Goron village ahead. Beware of white bull folks. And by the way, um, as I said, this is dumb as hell, but I can. Oh well. Can I get up here? I guess I can't. Well, good. Good. I need the Goron mask to get up here. I was about to. I was about to go up there and get that cave. Uh, up in there. Up on that ramp. But now I can't do that after all. All right, I do know there's a chest in here. Man, we're just, I'm just trying to squ uh, squeeze everything I can do here right now into these last few minutes. Yeah, here's the spring water cave. And I'm just going to use the blast mask. There is another chest in here. Might have to use the lens of truth to find. Oh no, it's right there. Snowhead fairy finally find more of, finally finding more of them. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Oh my god, leave me alone. And the good news is, um, since we got fire arrows early, we don't have to worry about, you know, taking spring water all the way down. And all that. Um, I was about to free the elder, but there's really no point, cause, uh, since I don't have the Goron mask. <laughs> I'm sorry, elder, but I'm about to reset time anyway. Well, you'll still be frozen then. Fuck. Um. Oh man, I totally, I've totally forgot about that letter to Mama thing, too. I was gonna do that, but I, I guess that can wait. 
another cycle. It's not really. Shit, I can't buy this now. I don't have the Goron mask. Oh. Damn. I just have to give him the swamp title deed then. Cause he he's only gonna sell it to a girl to a girl to a Goron. <sighs> He's only going to sell to a Goron, but I don't have the mask, so I can forget that. What if you gave me the mask right there? That would have, that would have been hilarious. Okay, so we got a Great Bay key, and oh god, I forgot there was a Rupee right there. I forgot there was a Silver Rupee right there. Ah, uh, shit. All right, so that's damn. Um, yeah, I gotta. So now I gotta make my way all the way back to Clock Town. I'm telling you, where's that song of soaring, man? That song of soaring. All the way back to Clock Town. So I can deposit these rupees. Also, I never looked at the curiosity shop. <laughs> Damn, there's so many so much stuff to do. Oh my god. You don't you don't realize how much shit there is to do in this game. You know, until you try to squeeze it all in in one cycle like this. You know, squeeze out every last drop, you know? But man, I'm just trying to do everything here. Oh well. I couldn't really do every everything I wanted to do, but I still, I think I still made out pretty good. You know, we did the Swamp Spider House and all that. But, okay, whatever then. Okay, whatever then. You sound so dejected. So lackadaisical or something like that. You know, if I was smart, I, I, I should just um, grind up some rupees and grind up to that, um, that 1,000 rupee reward right now in the bank. I mean, I got time, but nah, that'll come later. <laughs> so yeah, got to do the other thing on the on the Madame Madame Aroma letter. Deposit rupees, yes. And now I'm going to have 400. So yeah, I think that's all. I think that's going to be it. For this cycle and this recording session. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching this part of Majora's Mask and Randomizer. Um, man, I don't know what we're going to do in the next part. I seriously don't, because I need to look back over and see what I can do. Like, I got the Goron Lullaby, yes, but I don't have the Goron Mask to play it in front of the big, the big guy. And even then, I don't, without the mask, I can't even get over there to him. I don't have the Sonata of Awakening to get into whatever the Woodfall Temple is. I guess I could try Stone Tower or um, not Stone Tower, but Iconic Canyon itself. Like I, oh god, I can't do the Castle of Akana because I got Fire Arrows. I got Light Arrows. Yes. Shit. 
I just might do that. Yeah, I think Iconic Canyon's gonna be our... I think Iconic Canyon's gonna be our next stop. The, I know I can do the minigame, yes. The, um... The Spirits minigame. The Spirit House, that's what it is, I think. And then there is the castle. And then there is saving Pamela's father. Well, no, I can't do that because I don't have the stone mask. Other than that, though, there is... I can get into... Gerudo Fortress and do the that first part of it backwards. Maybe get the eggs there. But then... If I'm going to rescue the eggs, I'm going to have to get that seahorse again, which will require me going back into Deku Palace and, you know, saving that monkey. Or not saving him, but getting the song from him, you know. All right, but anyway, I guess we'll all, I guess we'll work all that out in the next part. So thank you all so much for watching this part of Mario 60, Mario 64, what the hell? <laughs> no, Majora's Mask, oh my god. And it doesn't help that they both start with M.A. <laughs> I said Mario 64. I swear I, okay. But yeah, Majora's Mask Randomizer, and I'll see you guys next time, bye. <laughs> Freaking Mario 64. <laughs>